And good evening from Lahore, Pakistan. Good evening. Wrapped up warm with a Sainsbury's jacket that I picked up in the Karachi market a little while back, as you'll have seen in previous videos. But today, we have an evening in Lahore. We want to find out what it means to be a Lahorite. Is that what they're called? Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. How are, How are you? I'm fine. Are you from Lahore? Yeah, Lahore. Oh, we're getting a cuddle. Nice, nice. Oh, there we go. That's good first impressions of Lahore. YouTuber. What's your name? My name is Muhammad Ahmed. Muhammad Ahmed. That's yeah. nice to meet you, brother. Thank and uh, you. what do you call uh, somebody from Lahore? Are you a Lahorite? No, or what is the name of somebody from Lahore? You call Lahore people Lahorites? Yeah, 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 Lahore. Lahore, Lahore, Lahore. Lahore, okay. Lahore, Maybe yeah. not then. Maybe, I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Thank you, brother. Mohammed, okay, thank, thank you. Thank. All right, we've got a nice cuddle. Nice. Hey, Bravo. nice fella. Hey, we're straight in for it. <laughs> well, we're here in the old Anarkali Bazaar, this grand market here. Just our very first impressions of Lahore. Been um, a little bit sick, getting a bit uh, chesty. I think from the trains and stuff. Had a few problems coming up from Multan to here with police and all kinds of different things happening. So happy to be finally out exploring in the old part of Lahore. Sun is setting in maybe an hour or so, so we've got plenty of time to uh, have a look around, try some Lahori food, and uh, hopefully I want to go to the the big grand uh, was it Bad Shahi Mosque. Oh, thank you. We're okay. Thank you. And see the mosque at sunset because uh, looked online and that mosque looks absolutely amazing. So let's uh, let's have a little wander. Looks like this market's getting very very intense, which is just what we're like, isn't it? <laughs> nice big bustling market and uh, starving. Absolutely, Hank Marvin. We are so get a nice bit of food. Yeah, I want to find out what is, you know, the Lahori dishes. Let's, let's get into Punjab. Let's try the real Punjabi food. we got all kinds of backpacks and things here. Get your suits made. It's a thing, you know, when you go to Pakistan, it's like, it's like the England of old, you know. It's not all high street and immediate next day delivery and all that. You come to the market and you can get everything you need made at the market for you here. But, uh, Hopefully I'm warm enough in this Sainsbury's jacket, but it might come a time where I need to buy a jumper, so I am having a little look to see if there's anything uh, that stands out that I could just add an extra layer, keep this a bit warmer. Still, you know, in the winter here in Pakistan, it's not massively warm. Well, look at this, what we've got here. Got a few different uh, warm clothing items. Look at that Louis Vuitton one up there. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? I'm absolutely fine. Yes, sir. Ah, good. Very good. Very good. Uh, how are you doing? You, are you feeling okay? Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Are you from Lahore? Yes. Yes. What do you call people from Lahore? Lahorites? I am I am Gulshan Rabi. You back straight is Santa Claus. You you road, Juaisha road and block uh, Beribir Darbar. I'm sorry, I, yeah, I have friend. no idea what you're saying. My house. Oh, oh, you're telling me where you live. I don't need to go to your house. I was wondering, what do you call people from Lahore? No, no, so welcome. Thank you. Ah, I'm okay. Bird. Thank First you. class. First class. No, yeah. That's great. You are, you are, you are running. If you are running, then no problem. Just as you are running, 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 just as you are you are running, just as you are running, just as you are running, just as you you just told me that it addressed to your house. Salamu alaikum. This is your shop? This is your shop, is it? It's very nice. I was looking at your brown jumper. 1000. This is 1000. Wow. It's interesting. Can I have a look? My sub, do you have my size? 
Yes, yes. Large. Oh, large. I, medium size. <laughs> medium. Original <laughs> size, medium. Local size. <coughs> Local size. Oh, okay. Maybe that means large is a medium. Can I have a look at it, please? Let's have a look at this Pakistani Louis Vuitton jumper here. Let's have a look at this. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know Louis Vuitton did scuba diving wear. Scuba diving wear? It's not that bad. There's a terrible smell around here. <laughs> it's like fish and sewage at the same time. Makes for hard uh, buying. This is a uh, fifth copy or sixth copy? Fifth copy? Fifth, fifth. fifth copy, okay, great. Okay, bye, Sab, let's, let's make a deal. You can do 500. Thousand okay, fine then. Oh come on, we have to make a deal. Let's let's meet in the middle. Seven hundred, acha. Seven hundred chalo. Eight. Seven hundred chalo. Eight. Price, uh, my purchase price seven hundred. Your purchase price is seven hundred. Seven hundred. Wow. I will try it on first. If it fits, if it fits, eight hundred. Okay. Let me try it on. Let me take off the Sainsbury's jacket first. And then will you pay seven hundred if it doesn't fit? <laughs> ah, Two thousand if it doesn't fit. <laughs> Right, Let's get the Lahori drip. Fits on the arms. All right. Yeah, so amazing. Nice. So nice. beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Okay, okay. Eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Change my up. Yes. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from England. England. Yes, sir. Sitting there? Newcastle. Newcastle. The best city. Thank you. I will return to my Sainsbury's jacket. Oh, there we go again. Even he put the jacket on for me. Oh, and you. There we go again. Getting looked after. And there's my 200 change. Fine. <laughs> there we go, stolen. Thank you. Now I'm nice and warm. Sainsbury's in collaboration with Louis Vuitton. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. That is. What do you have here? New oh, wow. this. Now this is where it's at. Wow. They're not doing very good with the sunshine. Look at this guys. Now we truly have the drip. This is the new look. Oh look, he's got Prada. This is good Prada, my friend. Good Prada. This is a great pro glass Nord fiber. Wow, look at this. Sheesh. Wow. Okay, what sort of absurd price are you going to give me first? Get that piece of my sub. Oxo. Oxo, that's 800. Eight, eight hundred. Oh, 800. This one, this one, this one, I just got a full full jumper for 800, brother. I will I will give you 500 now. Pancho by sub. Pancho, Pancho, Chalo. Pancho, G. Okay, give me okay. He's taking it straight away. Let me see. Just, I've only got thousands. Watch, watch, he's not gonna have any change. He only works in cash, but he won't have any change. Okay. I know you. <laughs> Come on, brother. You only accept cash. Of course, you got change. Don't be silly. There you go. Good, good try. Thank you. Well, there we go. We've got the full outfit Prada, Louis Vuitton, Sainsbury's. Thank you, brother. Thank you for your deal. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Thank you. There couldn't be more Gucci. drip. Some Gucci shoes. Gucci shoes, I don't think so. Wow. I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Thank you. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Hello. Hi, how are you? Alhamdulillah. What about you? I'm very good. Can I ask you? Jake here. Yes. Jake here, Yes, I'm Jack I'm, Kinsley, yes. I'm your big fan. Oh, thanks so you much. You recently man. visited Skardu. Yes, I, I did, yes. I, I loved my new time Ranga. in Skardu. You stayed in Uranga. Yes, when I met the, the young lads and the family that was a, had played yeah. cricket. Yeah, I loved it there. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. If you are from Lahore, what, what are you called? Are you a Lahorite? Are you a... What are people from Lahore called? What is the nickname called people from Lahore? Uh, nickname? Yeah. 
Lahori. Lahori? Lahori people. Yeah, yeah. Not Lahorites. No, no. Okay, Lahori there we people. go. We've learned. Lahori people. Yeah. Okay, and what does it mean to you to be a Lahori person? Are you from Lahore? No, no, no. I am from Skardu. Oh, you are from Skardu? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you, man. You are Gilgit. Yeah, you are, yeah. You are, you are Balti. Yeah, Balti. Yeah, Balti. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is anybody from Lahore? No, no, no. no. He's from Balochistan. Balochistan, nice. These are my cousin. He's from Baltistan. Uh, so and you are all from Baltistan? Oh, yeah. well, I absolutely loved it there. It was one of my favorite places in all of Pakistan. So, Thank you. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Well, nice to meet you guys. Thanks for nice watching the videos you. as well. I really appreciate that. Let's go for a tea. For, for some tea? Where, where shall we go? Yeah, from our side. Okay. It's okay. Quite 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 we should get some Balti tea. Yeah, yeah. yeah Balti tea. tea. Like not Balti tea, Koita. Koita cafe. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we've left the man. Are you not coming? No. Oh, Balochistan people are allowed also, you know. <laughs> I am also doing business in tourism. Ah, nice. Uh, I have also a hotel in Skardu. Oh, Mir Hotel. What is your hotel name? Mir Hotel. New? Mir Hotel. Mir? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's Mir Hotel. Skardu Kachura. Near Singrila. Oh, beside Kachura. I went to the Skardu city. You so know Singrila? Yeah, but I didn't go that far. Oh. Yeah. I watch all your vlogs. Thank you so much. My bank balance also doesn't go that far. Yeah, we, we, we can't afford to sugar go to Shangri-La. But uh, no, Skadu is an amazing place. You I recommend that everybody should go. Person. You uh, look after a look of a, a, a child. Yeah, he was a great young lad, Tahir. Ah. Tahir he's called. Very you gifted them the, the, the cricket bat and the football. Bat. Yeah, yeah, football. I love my time there. I absolutely love to go back to Skadu. Brilliant place. <laughs> All the English, how are you doing? Wow. So you are visiting uh, Lahore? Lahore. No, I am student of uh, Government College in Asti, Lahore. Oh, you're a student here? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I see. Well, let's get some nice Lahori tea, shall we? Kweta Darbar. Kweta? Kweta Darbar. But your man from Balochistan, he's not here anymore. He's yeah, a Kweta yeah. guy. Yeah. There we go, look at this. This looks brilliant, doesn't it? Salamu alaikum. Kisio. We would like um, one, two, three, four, five, five, punch tea. Five special chai. Punch special chai, Mehirbani. Yes, please. Wow, look at all this. This is uh, special masala, masala chai. Garam, garam chai. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Got nice amount of milk. This is all of your milk. What's happening? What? Can you just come here? We've been taken in. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a bit of How much is it? Four, five? Kitna? Kitna pesa panch chai. Char so. That is... Uh, 400. Hello. We are we are buying the chai. No 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 no. Yeah. You are my guest. <laughs> no. We, <laughs> come to me. No no. Nail <laughs> uh, Okay. Wow. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Look at this. It's like a nice hipster cafe, but on the front, it's like a classic rustic chai shop. Look at this, guys. This. Is Brilliant. Do you like me Prada glasses? Nice. Very real. You said come right, Having chai with the boys here in Lahore. We literally arrived here not more than 10 minutes ago. And I've got myself Louis Vuitton jumper, Prada glasses. Made some friends with the boys from Baltistan. This is excellent. Do you, do you come here a lot for the, for the chai? Yes, it's really good chai in here, right? Very good chai. Yeah, it looks great. It's my favorite chai. It's like a mixture of like uh, Starbucks and street food. <laughs> yeah, very uh, very nice presentation here. So I'm guessing we are getting special Malai chai. Malai chai. Yeah. That's what we are getting. Okay. Okay. Wait. There we go. There's our two more chais. Bahut shukriya, bhai sab. There we go. so much Yeah, it's very different. This is what I was saying in the past. It's very different to India. In India, when you get the chai, it's merely a, a little shot like that. Whereas here, you get everything. Thank you very, very much.
Thank you. of Quota Cafe is famous in all Pakistan. Yes, I. They have different branches in every city of Pakistan. Yes, we have visited uh, Quota Chai in uh, Islamabad. Quota Chai is very famous. In Karachi also, yeah. Oh, there we go. Delightful. You can only get a little sip in because obviously how hot it is. But that's going to get the appetite going. Let me ask you, um, what is your favourite Lahori food to have around here? Lahori food? Yeah. Lahori uh, Oh, we've eaten so much chicken curry. I want something special to Lahore. Yeah, Nihari. Nihari, yes, I heard. Nihari, Nihari. Nihari, then I and uh, Goga Chana. Goga Chana? Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. Well, if we see them things on the streets, I'll look out for them. Let's enjoy this delicious chai. Very sweet. Lovely, lovely milky tea. Just what you want. It's just alright. Palate cleanser ready for a nice amount of big spicy flavours as we eat our way through the hall this evening. What type of people you will find in Pakistan, especially in Skardu? In, in, in Skardu specifically, I found extremely, extremely warm. Warm people who are very, very awkward. Yes, I, I can't believe that when I when I met the family, I was walking on their property. I was I was trespassing, and, and they weren't angry. They just said, "Come into our home, drink tea, eat biscuits," and that was their response. And I think that's the most powerful emotional interaction I've had with any people of any place in, in the world. You know, to have to you know, I, I was lost in the Niranga village. I didn't know where I was going, and I ended up walking through somebody's garden and instead of getting angry they're saying you know come in and eat drink and sit here and stay the night with us so yeah that's that's Baltistan for me it's uh, amazing there we go last sip <laughs> always my last sip <laughs> delicious very good special Malay chai thank you very very much for that <laughs> Appreciate that a lot. Okay, let's go and find some. Let's find some food. All right, there we go. You're staying warm. Nice. How are you? It's amazing. I really enjoyed it. Very, very nice. I don't think I need the Prada glasses. They didn't last very long, did they? Yeah, of course. Let's take a selfie. Thank you so much for that tea. Much appreciated. Thank you. I tell you what, it's the first iPhone selfie we've taken in a while, isn't it? Like really good quality. Everyone takes all of their pictures on Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All yeah. the pictures we take with uh, Pakistani people, it's always got Snapchat. some weird filter on on Snapchat. We don't need Snapchat. Yeah, that's good. That's a very good phone, that one. Thank you so okay, much, thank guys. You so much. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. Thank you. Hello. Hi. My husband seen my vlog. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I have seen my Karachi vlog also. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You're from? Okay, yeah. We're from England. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Look, this is what I mean. This is what the selfies are like. Oh. Hello. Hello, how are you? Are you good? Sub Tiki? Tic Tac? Okay. Great. Tic Tac. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and eat. Okay, shukriya by subs. Wow. Market's crazy. We lost our friends. But uh, what lovely, lovely Baltistani gentlemen they were, aren't they? This is all the types of people that I got to meet in Skardu. I missed out. Very, very lovely people. <laughs> so, we're going to continue heading this way and see what else we can find. I'm getting very hungry. That tea just set a nice appetite for us. Delicious. There we go. There's our friends at the store. Salam. Salamu alaikum. I'm very happy. <laughs> People just filming us as I film ourselves. I thought you can get a blazer for 700 rupees there. Eh? So, guys, my glasses, where have they gone in my pocket? My Prada glasses, these nice Prada glasses here, cost me 500 rupees. 
which was about £1.50 and he snatched at that didn't he so they were probably worth about a pound that's a guy isn't it a pair of sunglasses for a quid <coughs> <coughs> oh god it's like chest infections getting worse <sighs> got all different kinds of things here but i just want to keep heading this way if we keep heading in this direction here we will end up at the old walled city of lahore that's like the old town, isn't it? And the most amazing mosque is there. Looks like it could rival the Taj Mahal, so... How long have we got? Because the sun is... We haven't got long. Look, it's <laughs> golden, golden hour. So, we need to try and get there quick. And we need to somehow get across this... Hello! Whoa. Oh, okay. Which Snapchat filter are we using this time? Look, the police are here. Look, you're going to get us in trouble with the police. All oh, right, come on then. <laughs> it's a video. Assalamu alaikum from Lahore. Hello. Okay. Shukriya. One picture of me for you with uh, my child. No problem. The sun is setting. This reminds me of when we got engaged. <laughs> Paige and I got engaged at sunset in India and every time I was waiting to pop the question people kept coming up to us asking for selfies and I wanted to do it at sunset and it just kept, yeah, the sun kept going down and down and down Yes you are, I love yeah, Pakistan, yeah. Pakistan Sindhavad Pakistan okay. Sindhavad, yes Acha? Acha. Ah. Shukriya, to nice to meet you, there. nice to meet you Okay, we need to try and get across and not get killed by this Toyota Right I was just telling them, remind us when we got engaged. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to propose at sunset, and I wanted to take so many selfies. And I was like, it's fine, the sun will set tomorrow. <laughs> no, it's today or never. <laughs> All right, I guess we're in a different part of the Anarkali market. There's a crowd gathering here for whatever reason. He's, I don't know, there's police here. I'm sick of the police now, like, so let's keep away from them. What happened on the train yesterday? Hello. Guys, long story short, right? On our train from Multan to here in Lahore, from South Punjab to North Punjab, we took the economy class train as we have been doing. And I thought, you know what it is? I'm not gonna film. I'm just gonna have the day off because I'm starting to get really sick, getting really tired, you know, it's been quite a, a journey, you know, on these trains already. And I had a full day with the police the day before and I was just all a bit run down, you know? And so, we'll take the economy class train. Long story short, same situation as what's been happening all the way. Armed police come with their MP5, say, get out of economy class, you're not allowed in here. Security concerns, get out. They take us to AC Sleeper. Well, now no, that's... They tell us business. Yeah, they say, oh, you need to go to business class. We're walking, walking down the train, and they're just like, AC sleeper. You need to go into this AC sleeper, which is the, the number one class you can get on the train in Pakistan. It's like a private cabin, private toilet, everything. I'm like, well, well what about I thought business class would have been fine? Oh no, business class is too far down the train. That would take too long to walk there. <laughs> so you've got to go in here. Anyway, right? We're in this private cabin now that we've been forced into by you know three policemen, all with weapons. You know, kind of you know argue with that. They're saying it's a security concern. Got to do that. Fair enough, right? Sit down in the private cabin. 5,000 rupees, please. <laughs> it charged us for the upgrade. It oh, we, we told them. Oh, oh. oh that's you there. We told them we were that like, we're no, happy we're in a economy in class. Economy. We're sat there with a the family, you know, all safe. You no know, security concern, you have to go here. Put us in there. That'll be 5,000 rupees, please, for the upgrade. So as you can imagine, guys, a little bit, a uh, little bit tired of the And then police. the man was like, would you like a coffee? And Jack was like, yeah, I'll have a coffee, please. Mm. And then... I haven't had a good cup of coffee in ages, and the guy asked me a coffee, but <laughs> if I want a coffee for the inconvenience, brilliant. And then he was like, that's 500 rupees, please. <laughs> it's an absolute... coffee. It's an absolute skamazzi. And then, and then, and then we gave him a thousand. And then he was like, well, and can I have a tip? And we were like, 
Honestly, just keep it. Just <laughs> it just took us. Thank you, with you. I was like, I thought, you know what it is, right? If I just give you my wallet at this point, <laughs> just take it. We didn't bother bringing it back. It was an absolute nightmare, guys. So, as far as the trains go, we didn't have the best first impressions of Punjab. But anyway, we're here in the new Anarkali Bazaar, and let's have some better first impressions there. Let's see if we can meet some sounder people. I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely starving. Look at all these wedding things, clothes. This market goes on forever, doesn't it? It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's just this giant street which hopefully should lead up to this most beautiful mosque. I've just seen a little sports shop here actually. Which uh I wonder if I have any local stuff. Look, there's some Lahori stuff. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. I just grabbed my bar. You what? Who did? Which man? What was he wearing? Which one? Was that, was, was that you, was it? Was that you? Was that you with a, with a girl? Was it, was it him? Which one? Oh, I'm not. Older one? I don't know. kick your head in the back, you? Hi Sam, did you see a girl? Did you see a girl? Oh, English. A uh, foreign girl? Foreigner girl? Did you see anybody? I don't know if you It's okay, I... Somebody. I almost like went to push him. Ah, okay, great. Thank Closing. you. Closing. I will look here. It's crazy to me. You want to take a picture with the mask? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I think yeah. you are a YouTuber, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Thank Where are you from? England. I like your accent, but don't speak it properly. I'm gonna try. <laughs> thank you. See you. Thank you. See you for the it's crazy to me that this isn't a wonder of the world. Yeah, like the Taj Mahal is, and this isn't. See all these restaurants? This is a restaurant there, and there's a restaurant there, all with prized views over the mosque here. Well, it's a lot easier to get your central position than it is at the Taj Mahal, the Princess Diana photo and all. Do you know anything about it? No. Nah. 
it was the biggest mosque in Pakistan before they built that weird sort of futuristic looking one in Islamabad. It's a bit dark. Well, um, there's the nice mosque behind us. And uh, yeah, I've had half an hour to decompress. Just uh, not something that we've had to deal with in Pakistan. So in, you know, two different trips here. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's so annoying that like, um, I don't know if, if the camera picked it up because I was filming like the other way or not but um, yeah I can only just right now I haven't seen footage or anything I can only hope that there's a frame of something happening so that uh, that person can get the, the justice that they deserve because that's just like yeah you can't just go around ruining people's trips and even that day like you know you can see how much we were enjoying the Anarkali market and with them lads from Baltistan and you could see the energy that, that we had and I was just enjoying that so much and I was about to go and buy a, try and find a, a Barbara Azam cricket top from the club side and just have a have a good laugh in there and, and then that something like that happens, it just, yeah, totally derails your mood and your trust and like we have like a full journey ahead of us through Pakistan still to come and uh, yeah, now it's just like difficult, isn't it? Because now it's like, you know, it's hard to trust going into busy markets again, which is somewhere that we've enjoyed being in, you know? We've never ever had an issue in any part of South Asia before, in, in India or in Pakistan until until today. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, that person is just, just because you're a, and horny little incel who just can't have any form of conversation with a woman, you know, and then just to think that you can just have the arrogance to just go and just like touch another person like that is just like, yeah, it's absolutely infuriating. I just, I don't know, maybe it's best I didn't see him because I don't know what the laws are on assault here in Pakistan, but just infuriated me so much and um, yeah it's just we've not had the best time in Lahore, in time in Lahore yeah I'm sorry to everybody from Lahore realize that it's in everything you know like we don't label the whole of Pakistan as a dangerous place despite there being extremely dangerous groups of people in Pakistan but so therefore I'm not gonna write off Lahore as this type of place but you know we were dealt with the police being slightly nefarious on the way up here on the train with the forcing us into the higher class and making us pay for it and and we get here and I was literally just saying in that clip that like let's hope we meet some nicer people here in the Anarkali market and uh, you know we don't like going to malls and like going to these like you know like places where there's nobody will want to like get in and amongst it all and, and things like that it's just yeah it's just an absolute cry and shame that uh, somebody has to to ruin that for us because like you know now like I'm not gonna speak for Paige but now it's just gonna be difficult to, to go into these busy places and like to try and build that trust up again and on a, a long trip through through Pakistan and the economy class trains and stuff, you know. And yeah, it's I don't know. You don't have to say anything if you want to say. It's just like it's like always going to be like in the back of our minds now, like mm. going through busy places and meeting people for the first time and stuff. It's just not nice. Like when we take these selfies, which is like all the time. Like to be honest, it's like <laughs> 50, 100 times a day. It's like, now I'm always like, judging people like, oh, where they're putting their hand or where they're putting their arm. Like, even on most of these people are just probably completely normal people with, with good intentions as we've always known through Pakistan. But 
yeah, it's just I wish, just wish so much that like I uh, could have seen exactly who that was. Could just because it's yeah, that's just impossible to to forgive. Just the disrespect is just beyond belief. Yeah, the mood is obviously not the same. I was gonna go on this big street food adventure and and try all these different things and see this mosque and like even this like amazing beautiful piece of architecture it's like hard to find the enthusiasm for it you know I think um, yeah kind of like lost the appetite to, to go into the crazy street food market and all the rest of it so it's just yeah I don't know hope you understand <laughs> this video was set out to be a lot different to what it's become and, you know um, yeah I just absolute disgrace of a person like pure scum of the earth absolutely I don't know makes me angry just thinking about it ah man trying best to make a light trying to bring the spirits up because there's nothing we can do about it now without that knowing where that person is or whatever yeah I don't know then maybe find something to eat in a restaurant or something and uh, yeah just, I just wanted to say something on that because obviously the the mood of the video just dropped off a cliff didn't it so I didn't want that to just be unmentioned well one thing that's never let us down and has always made us feel nice and safe and loved is the amazing Pakistani food so See if we can get a nice meal at this restaurant here that overlooks the mosque. See if it's, uh, you know, it might be completely full, I'm not sure, but we'll see if we can get a nice meal because we haven't eaten all day and uh, yeah. Food always cheers you up, doesn't it? We'll get you a nice hot meal there. Oh, I've not eaten all day. Nice and spicy, yeah? That'll sort us out. I would like to go to Haveli restaurant, yes sir. Is there space for two people? Amazing. Wow. Salam alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Sir, how are you? Okay. Thank you very much. Shukriya. Thank you. This is interesting, isn't it? Seems like, exclusive. Seems like a very nice restaurant. That's well, good that they said the space. Nothing that a nice, uh, warm, spicy, fine dining. Menu you can't do the up your spirits, eh? Wow, look at this place. Incense coming from the ceiling, from the walls. Beautiful chandelier. It's like super heritage, isn't it? Wow. It feels a bit like Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> Just having... Have you ever been to the Morocco Pavilion? <laughs> Queue for the lift. To, uh, I don't know, how do you know which floor it will do? I don't know. Oh, this guy here. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. All right, let's get in this lift. Better right close. You've had your orders. Close the door. Okay. Are you a streamer? I'm not streaming. I'm vlogging. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice idea. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seems quite a nice place, doesn't it? I wonder mm. if it's like a touristy type thing or if it's genuinely nice. Mm. Here we are. Wow, look at this, guys. This is nice, isn't it? Where do we go now? I don't know. There's like a desk over there. You get in the lift last, you get first out. You get your first table, don't you? That's good. This looks good. Salam. Assalamu alaikum. Do you have a availability for two people? Yeah, yeah, please. Oh, amazing. Just a two minutes. What's that, sorry? Two minutes. Just two minutes. Yeah, no problem, no problem at all. Take your time. We will just... We'll wait over here. You have a seat indoor or outdoor? Either, either, we don't mind. Anything with a nice view would be nice. Okay, please. Okay. Walking in like one of Lahore's nicest restaurants for me, Sainsbury's Jackie Art. <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. 
that, that would be absolutely perfect. Thank you, sir. What's your name? Abdullah. Abdullah. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you. Well, luckily, we did have a short shopping trip, didn't we? So I got me Louis Vuitton jumper. So I don't have to wear the same for And it's nice and warm in here as well. Well, here's the menu for Haveli restaurant here in Lahore. And look at that view of the Badshahi Mosque. It's absolutely tremendous. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really is. And I'm sure if you came there at the right time, we tried to go there for sunset, but um, obviously things didn't go as planned. The main character in any way, I don't know if you can see him, but there's a guy just, just down there. And he's all lit up by the lights lighting up the mosque, and he looks like he's on like a theatre set. <laughs> but um, yeah, I imagine this place is incredible at, uh, at sunset or dusk. Amazing. Well, let's get you a nice spicy meal, shall we? Nice hot meal. Get all sorts. I want something proper spicy, guys. I want like a curry. Look at all these things here. Chapley beef kebab. Gotta wait until the shower for that one for sure. Let's see what else. Chinese food, look, we got China Express, all different Chinese foods. All of them around three to four pounds. We've got steak, burgers, more Chinese things. Also further back here. And then there's various different seafoods, lots of Lahori fried fish, lots of Lahori prawns. And over here, you've got handy, which is a type of curry, creamy curry, I believe. And you've got full barbecue menu, barbecue every night, and all the starters. So let's have a little decide on there uh, on what we want. I'll tell you what, a nice glass of wine would be all right here, wouldn't it? But <laughs> <laughs> not be getting that anytime soon in Pakistan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> all right, let's choose what we want then, shall we? Shukriya. He's put a nice candlelight dinner on. Yeah. Nothing food can't fix. I think that I'm going to get here this Lahori mutton karai. Because we're in Lahore and I did want to spend all the evening eating Lahori food. Um, so that's the best chance, isn't it, really? I'll get some Lahori karai. Karai is. Um, Basically, a tomato based curry that you'll get all through Pakistan. You can get karai from Karachi, you can get Hyderabadi karai, you can get Peshwari karai, you know, you can get all different kinds of karai. So, karai is like the staple, it's like the, basically the tomato curry, and then they make it differently in different cities and they have their own special take on it. So, I'm gonna get the Lahori one. I'm gonna, get for, I'm gonna go for mutton, I fancy mutton. It's double the price of the chicken, so 2000 is around six pounds, I think. You be cooler. Yeah, I'm gonna ball out tonight. <laughs> I feel like we deserve it. Oh, what's, what's happening here? So what do I do here? Wash your hands. I wash my hands up, okay, just like this. Rose water. Oh, wow. It's got like a natural antibacteria, right? Amazing. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh, that's, that's a smell I've smelled throughout Pakistan, actually. So the come over with this amazing basin of rose water. I'm from, I'm from England. Hello. England. Yes. Hello, how are you? Making story for me. Yeah, no problem. Hello, everybody. What's up? My name is Asad. 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 Hello to all Asad's friends. We're here at the Valley Restaurant in Lahore. Enjoying our meal. <laughs> all right. Well, they've come over and washed our hands in a nice basin with hot rose water. There's the, that's a, you know, the, there's your 2,200 rupees for your curry paid for already with that service, brilliant. All right, so me, two, me 2,000 me Lahori mutton curry. It costs about, about, about six pounds. Yeah, about six pound 40, six pound 50. And uh, that's just nice. And I'll have to get some rice for that, obviously, of course. A bit of rice for that. And I'm gonna see if I can get it actually spicy. The problem is, as a foreigner, they see your white skin and they don't make you spicy food. They just go, ah, oh, he doesn't really want it spicy. But I want it spicier than you Pakistani people. I want it more spicy than what you eat. And what about you? What are you fancying? I think I am going to get 
beef, crispy prawns. Prawns, okay. And some onion rings and some garlic butter naan. Oh, that sounds lovely, mate. <laughs> well, that's a lot of, lot of comfort food, eh? Yeah. There you go, that's nice. And you can have some of my spicy curry as well. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, let's get that ordered and uh, I'm starving, so looking forward to that coming. Yeah, what are they already? Brilliant. Oh, what are they? They're like prawn crackers. <laughs> Fish crackers. Yeah, prawn crackers. Like? Nice. Yeah, Chinese style. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Prawn crackers before the food. That's all right. Isn't it? All right. What are you haven't eaten? Can I please get the deep fried prawns? Deep fried prawns. Mm -hmm. Um and then can I also please get the uh, onion rings? Yes. This one? And then also a garlic butter naan. Garlic butter naan and onions. Brady? Yes. Onion rings. For me, could I have the uh, Lahori mutton karai? Half. But could I have this? Extra spicy. Spicy? Yes, very spicy. I would, I would love it more spicy. More, more than Pakistani spicy. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, I would like that with uh, some rice, please. Rice, please. Uh, kabuli palau. Um, you think kabuli palau with it is good together? Maybe kabuli palau has uh, meat in it already. I just want uh, rice on its own. Plain rice. Just. Plain uh, just... rice. Chinese media. Chinese. Ah, the Chinese, Chinese rice. rice. Yeah, so. there's one rice. Ah, okay, these are the rice. Vegetable smoky or egg? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have like just normal pilau? Normal. No? Just steamed rice? No? Okay. <laughs> um, I, I guess. Uh, craggy. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say, I just want rice. <laughs> you may try the Afghani palau. Yeah, that's fine. Kabli palau. Okay, no problem. Oh, that's one. Is that not gonna be... That'll be a huge it's meal a though. Meal. Not me. Uh -huh. Two person sharing. <laughs> oh no, we are not two person. I am one person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can just get like the smoky rice. Sure. Smoky rice. Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Why is it hard to get rice here? Like every... You like that uh, yogurt? Mint yogurt? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Man with fine taste. Yeah, I don't know. Normally you can always get rice with it. With some sort of curry. What do you mean? Well, there we are. Mixed fruit, Mixed fruit punch. Brilliant. Thank you. Look at that. Fuzzy peach. Fuzzy peach. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cocktails in Pakistan, eh? Who would have thought? Drinks always come at the same time at the food in Pakistan, it's weird. I think it's because there's no drinking culture here, obviously no alcohol and stuff that uh, they haven't quite got that right. Like you get your, if you order your drink, you get that and then you have that while you wait for your food, but they don't, they seem to do it as part and parcel with the meal itself here. We notice that in a few restaurants here. Well, it comes on this big display of a table. Garlic butter naan. Wow, that looks good, that looks doesn't amazing. it? That looks drenched in garlic butter, look at that. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> garlic breath inbound. <laughs> There's one your Lahori mutton karai. Lahori mutton karai spicy, lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Single karai, reveal yourself. <laughs> There's one your bread. Bread to go with that. Now I understand why you give me such a hard time about the rice. Because <laughs> there's bread that comes with it. I didn't realise that, I never saw that. It's like a sesame naan, look. It's got sesame seeds on it. And <laughs> additionally, this is a smoky rice. Yes. Thank you very much. That looks good, loads of vegetables. Egg in there? Some egg in there by the looks of it? Chicken. Chicken, Chicken. okay, no problem, thank you. It's all still coming guys on a, <laughs> a train of food here. It's a good job I've got a table for four. Because uh well, it wouldn't all fit on. Oh. Every single time we eat. Portion sizes in Pakistan are massive. And side salad, brilliant, thank you. Thank 
you'll not believe the size of the food that's coming for you. <laughs> There's a family feast of prawns coming. <laughs> made a mistake. <laughs> You've made a grave mistake. It's a regular or jumbo, so I chose regular. Wow. You move anything that you need away, that's fine. So this is what happens when you order breaded prawns in Pakistan. Are they not like small lobsters? <laughs> look at the size of these Dynamite fellas. Dynamite prawns. Dynamite prawns, look at them. They're massive. So big, that's like a deep fried lobster. <laughs> wow. And some onion rings, finally, to complete the banquet. That's just but what I, I needed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, onion rings. Thank you very yeah. much. Shukriya. There we go. That's a banquet, isn't it? Thank well, you very plenty much. Plenty food there. Excellent. Well, I'll enjoy my mocktail and uh, all of these. Serve you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Serve no problem. Oh, thank you. But the rest will be just for her. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is your name? Abnam Kehe? Muhammad Ahmad. Muhammad Ahmad. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. There we go. This is like as big as that corn dog we had to Got a bit of uh, jazz piano going on as we have the Benchai Mosque beside us and this giant Lahori platter of food here. That's alright, isn't it? How is it then? Side. Is it like a, a prawn paste or something? Full on prawn. Wow. Well, I for one didn't order these prawns, so I will return them no, to you. Have a bite. <laughs> Come on then. Let's have one bite of this. Okay. Yeah, good. <laughs> you can keep that one. No, no. And I'll leave some of your curry. Will you now? <laughs> oh, the bread comes are spicy. Yeah, and that spicy sauce. Mm. Alright. Well, I would like to serve myself up some nice curry, so let's have a little go of this mocktail. I don't know if it needs mixed, doesn't it? Ah. Well, there we are. Let's have a go of that. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. So sweet. It tastes like sweets, like sweeties. Wow. Okay, let's make myself up a little bit of curry, shall we? So, let's move all this stuff over here. We love the writer over there. Move that there. All right, so, now, obviously, I'm not over the moon with this rice, I'll be honest with you. It's like Chinese-style rice, and I was after, like, more of a palau or a basmati or, you know, rice that goes with curry, like we've had in you know, many places in Pakistan before. But for some reason they don't sell it here, so it is what it is, I guess. We will accept it. There we go, there's some rice there. And now, what we've been waiting for, reveal yourself, Lahori Karai, look at that. Let me just show you with better lighting how good this looks. Look at that, guys. Wowza. Beautiful rich tomato, loads of chilies. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? This will have bones in it. What they do is they're basically when you get a curry here in Pakistan, if you get like a you can get you can basically you can get half or full. That's kind of how the sizes work. Now what I've noticed with the chicken, if you were to get you know chicken curry, they would ask you oh half or full. And that means you want a half chicken or a full chicken. And the butcher who's in the restaurant will get a chicken with a meat cleaver and hack it in half and cut that up into bits. If you get full, you get a full chicken. But with the mutton, it works by the kilogram. So your half is half a kilo of mutton or a full kilo of mutton. Now, obviously, I can't eat a full kilo of mutton to myself, can I? So, there we go. I've made myself up my nice curry there. A few bits left in there, which I'll enjoy after. And I'll put put the lid on. Where's the lid gone? There you go. You just put the lid on for after. Keep all the heat in there. It's being heated by a tea light underneath as well. Oh, look at that. 
I didn't see that under there. And you can just see the tea light. Getting that warm. And we will have a go on this mutton. Lahori mutton karai. Let's have a bit of this. A bit of mutton off the bone. There we go. Nice bit of mutton. Get it loads of sauce on there, loads of the curry. And have a go at Lahori mutton karai. Mm. Oh, lovely. So, so soft. It's got beautiful zesty flavour to it. Look at that, just mutton has fallen off there. Fantastic. Wow, so gelatinous. Very, very fatty piece of lamb. Oh, and a big, big flavour, absolutely intense flavour there. Let's try a bit of this rice, let's see what it's all about, shall we? Mm. It's nice, but it's got a completely contrasting taste. So I, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get just a you know, standard pilau, basmati, steamed rice, something like that, you know, but that's all right. I'll just uh, eat the mutton. It's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank I'm you. very much enjoying it. It's got a huge flavor. Very, very nice. Had a massive bite of mutton there. So rich, absolutely beautiful. And you couldn't really get better, could you, with this view? Yeah, with this view. <laughs> How's your drink? It's really nice. Let's like try something. This one's oh no, fuzzy. Is that not like fizzy? Fuzzy. It's not fizzy. <laughs> oh yes. But ours tastes extremely similar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the garlic now? Yeah. It looks super garlic. Whoa. I smell it immediately. Mm. That's what you want though, isn't it, when you're ordering yeah. garlic naan? <laughs> Some of the garlic naans we've had have been extremely tame, but that's been... That one's absolutely drenched in garlic butter. Wow. Let's try these onion rings. Have they got a bit of a bite to them? Let's have a see. A bit of chilli sauce on there. Chilli sauce, onion ring. Let's have a little, listen to the crunch. Oh, certainly do. Mm. Very nice. Got a bit of curry on there. This curry sauce is beautiful. There we go. Well, they know how to make onion rings here, that's for sure. And garlic naan. And ginormous prawns. <laughs> the rice. Nah, I could do without the rice. But the delicious soft mutton. Wow, it's just absolutely melting your mouth. Spicy deep rich tomato flavour with a bit of zest in there. Absolutely delicious. Well, cheers. Well, we've made a half decent go at that. Finished the whole karai, just the bones left there. The onion rings are gone. Oh no, there's one on there. And it might look like we haven't touched the prawns, but actually we've hollowed <laughs> them out. Look how thick yeah, this is. We couldn't get through all the batter, so we're just eating the actual prawns. You know, that's a bit that you pay for, isn't it? And half the naan remains. But uh, that was a good go. Absolutely full the brim, so it's been nice. Nice meal, just sat two of us, just having a nice conversation with a lit up mosque and yeah. It's been a pleasant, very pleasant restaurant. I'd definitely recommend it. Um, we'll see how much it costs in the end, I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it, this place? Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that whole meal, with all the drinks and everything, came to 25 pounds. So definitely a, a luxury meal here in Lahore, Pakistan. But one that was very nice, and it's cool that you can go to the nicest restaurants with the most famous views and only spend £25 on dinner for two. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? And we'll go back down in our scenic elevator. There we are, opened up nicely for us there. Okay. Right, there we go. Back into the Disney World-esque mansion. And into our Kareem, which is waiting outside for us. If we can find it without any issues. Well, there you go, that's Haveli in Lahore, Pakistan. It's a nice place to come for dinner.
<laughs> thank you very much. That was very nice. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you want a fist bump? There we go. Thank you. Oh, I've just eaten. Thank you. So you want bestie? This oh, I like. Okay. Thank you very much. It's like going down the strip on holiday, isn't it? One more, one more what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I do like tea, but I'm all finished now, thank you. Okay, next time, inshallah. I am ready for you. Okay. You'll be waiting a long time. If you want to try for the food. Like this. I'll show you the Oh, I'm okay, oh thank you. God. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. I don't know. You want to hold this eagle, he says? Wowza, okay. Our uh, silver Daihatsu should be here. Assalamu alaikum. Here we go. Alright. Well, fancied a late night sweet treat. And we found out they have an IHOP here in Pakistan. Alright, this is nice, isn't it? Just fancied a bit of a late night snack. Alright. Well. Well, I for one have been to IHOP in America before. So I know exactly what it's like, so we'll see how the Pakistani IHOP compares to the original in America. Why is this menu so big? It's ginormous, <laughs> isn't it? American size. American size, yeah. So you can get blueberry pancakes, Oreo pancakes, the chocolate chip ones, which you know the man will be getting. Chocolate in New York, cupcake. Oh, interesting. I think I you like might be getting cake. them. So you can get them in stacks of two, you can get two for about £2.50 or you can get four for like, I don't know, three quid or something, that's good isn't it? Well, I think I'm going to help myself to a short of two, whatever that means, a short of two chocolate chip pancakes, because they're the ones that I've had before in America and the, when I ate six of them in America, they sell them in <laughs> stacks of six in America. I had six of them and I had a 16 hour sleep following it, so that was good. Oh, hello. Hello, what's your channel name? My channel's name is Jack Ainsley Travel. <laughs> what? You can type in Jack Pakistan and you will find it, I'm sure. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, thank you for asking. That kid's English was better than mine. Yeah. I think we're in like the proper posh area of the whole around here, guys. Lots of like bars which aren't really bars sort of thing. Um, lots of like modern western contemporary places around here, including IHOP. So what are you what are you gonna get? Oh, no. Who what are you thinking, eh? <laughs> I am thinking. What are you looking at? This we've already been out for dinner. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get a fettuccine alfredo. The fettuccine alfredo, is that so? Followed by the spicy chicken sandwich. Right. <laughs> and the big steak on this. Brilliant, right. Well, hopefully they can make that in the next 20 minutes. Right, let's, uh, let's decide what we want in order before they kick us out. <laughs> let's get a cup of coffee with it as well, shall we? Hello, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> good. Very good. What are you getting? Um, can I please order a short steak of uh, cupcake? Yes. Cupcakes, please? Can I also get a mojito passion fruit? Shukriya. Can I have uh, two chocolate chip pancakes, please, and a uh, hot black coffee? Black coffee, American horse. Yes, please. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, look at that. That looks great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank you. American horse. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. It's even got a crema on it. Lovely. Thank you. Chocolate chip pancake served with ice cream with cream. Thank you. With maple syrup. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's alright, isn't it? Would you like four containers of <laughs> maple syrup? Chocolate syrup I would have taken. Maple syrup I'll pass. You can see hot melted chocolate chips in there. One of my favourite things in this life is hot baked goods. Whether that's like brownie or it's pancakes, Bread. cold ice cream. <laughs> that's just lovely. That's how Try that, shall we? Mm. Mm. Bit of ice cream on there. Are you a monster? You've got a knife and fork for a reason. Fantastic. Chocolatey, delicious. They're not as rich as the ones in America. And, you know, you can imagine the ones in America that 
a little bit more rich and there's more chocolatey and then they'll be stacked up to here. For two stacks? No, for six. <laughs> and they're like $15 or something. Let's have a look at yours, shall we? Birthday cake, is it? Yeah. There you go, that's a good buy, isn't it? Is that just what you're after? Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, nice cup of coffee, yeah? An alright cup of coffee, yeah? <laughs> Have you seen that fact on the wall? More than 100 million cups of coffee are served each year. Very generic. Very, very <laughs> big. More than 100 million, less than 10 trillion. Somewhere. Not served at IHOP. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> just served. And that's just in Brazil. Well, absolutely slaughtered them. That's a late night pancake run success. That was uh, about six pounds worth of coffee and pancakes. Nice little late night jaunt in Lahore. We're we'll gonna go back to the hotel and watch the Newcastle match. Back at the hotel now. Had um, no right evening. Nice, uh, just try to do a few little nice things like go to a fancy restaurant with a nice view and go for a late night um, pancake mission just to do a few, just a couple of nice things just to try and put a sweeter tone on the end of the day. But um, no, it's just um, been a bad day traveling, not, um, not very, not very nice at all. Just absolutely still get furious when I think about it like that just makes me so angry to, to think about it so can't even imagine how how Paige feels but um yeah we sort of agreed that we'll you know we can't write off the the whole country the whole people all the kindness we've we've received so far on the trip and and whatnot um we're not going to bring it up again unless you know something like this happens again or, or whatever I always want to speak out about these sorts of things because it's just hideous it's absolutely disgusting to uh to, to say the least it's just yeah the person that did that is just the most biggest low life that there, there possibly could be it's just yeah makes me so angry thinking about it but um yeah we're gonna take the day to relax tomorrow and then continue on the trip and uh have a fresh mindset and um yeah I'm not gonna let one instance have an undertone throughout the whole trip you know we're gonna give people the opportunity they deserve which is 99 percent has been you know amazing here in pakistan but um yeah just the one person let it down and let lahore down for sure today for us because unfortunately we're always gonna remember lahore for for this day so yeah that's just um consequences of actions isn't it but um yeah gonna uh go to sleep now and like i say we'll continue the journey in the next video as we head north to Rao Pindi. and um yeah we're gonna have a fresh mindset so hope you're looking forward to the next videos the journey will continue we will be going onwards and we will hit our goal of reaching Peshawar thank you very much for uh for watching and um yeah see you in the next video goodbye